Many hams know the difference between enjoying their radio and having a dull experience can fall on the shoulders of how active their talk group is. That's why it's crucial you know how to correctly program talk groups into your digital radio. Hi, I'm Cody, W3AMG, and today we'll be sharing some easy tips and tricks you can use for programming and finding the most active talk groups on Brandmeister. Before I begin, let me explain what a talk group is. So the Brandmeister network is the primary network that amateur radio operators on DMR use. And within that, there's lots of different talk groups. Uh, we'll go through a few in this video. Now, talk groups are basically like different channels, if you want to think of them that way. Uh, there's talk groups for different states, different countries. Uh, they have some nets on there. There's a lot of different talk groups, primarily location-based. Now, you can tune into them really from anywhere, as long as you program it into your radio. Uh, but you know you're going to be talking primarily to that location. So as long as you are talking to a DMR repeater or to a DMR hotspot, you can talk to virtually any talk group. One of the reasons I like DMR is most of the talk groups, especially the popular ones, are active a lot of the time. Unlike a lot of amateur radio repeaters that are still on the analog network uh, that are just local. Now I love those. Those are awesome because they'll stay up no matter what in emergency conditions. The problem is you don't find that many people on them anymore. DMR and talk groups, there's always someone to talk to. Okay, so now we're over here on the computer. Uh, I've got the CPS opened up. Uh, so first thing you want to do, obviously, uh, you want to find the talk group that you want to add. Um, so I, I'm going to go over here, Pystar, this is a great place to find all of your Brandmeister talk groups. They have a list here. Uh, now you can not actually download the list directly from Brandmeister itself uh, and import that list. The problem is it doesn't have everything on it. There's certain uh, talk groups that you may want that are on there. Uh, so in this case, I actually had a customer one time wanted to talk to uh, Togo. It's a uh, country in West Africa. So we are going to be showing you how to do that today. So I was able to do a little bit of research and find out the talk group is number 615. Uh, as you can see here, it, it actually doesn't show up on the list. Uh, it skips right over it. But we're going to go ahead and put it in there, and it does work. So in the CPS, uh, first you want to go over to digital. Now, it, it, read from your radio first if you uh, have anything that you don't want to overwrite. In this case, I have my code plug already in here. So go to talk groups, and then scroll down uh, through to the bottom of your talk groups. Now, if you don't have any, it's probably a good idea to uh, find a list to import, uh, or get, if, if you're just starting out, get a uh, super code plug from Bridgecom. They come with all kinds of different international and cool talk groups, um, just about everything you need. Let me see if I can find the bottom of my list here. I've got quite a few in here. The scrolling can be a little bit challenging in the software, but you'll get used to it. OK, here we go. Here's the bottom. Uh, so double click on it, then go ahead and put the name of it. So Togo. And then in this case, it is a group call. Now, if you were talking to a person, like I have down here in the last one, uh, my buddy Eric, uh, you would actually put that as a private call. So that's a group call. And then the ID, in this case, that is 615. And then uh, we'll leave that at none. And then you say OK. And there we go. Now we have that talk group in our talk groups list. So then simply go up to channel. And now we're going to add it in uh, so we can use it on our hotspot. So just go to the bottom of your program channels. There we go. So we're going to create another one. So I have a hotspot here. Uh, let's see. And if you do have did get a plug and play from us and you want to add additional talk groups, you can reference uh, the information that is already there as well. Uh, so if you go over here, let me show you real quick. If you go over here and scroll up, you can reference all of these different, uh, you know, the frequencies, because you know that's what your hotspot came with. Obviously digital, uh, 12 and a half kilohertz, everything like that, you can reference that. So we're going to go back down and create our channel. Okay, so in this case, my hotspot, let me take a look at it. We are on 446.550. OK, 
Okay, so we'll simplex obviously so set them both that way, but this can be done for repeaters too. Obviously you just um, change it to a duplex frequency. There we go. And so I'll put it my sky bridge, that's how I label all these and then Togo. And then we don't need to be transmitting at high power to the talk group. Okay. Perfect. And uh, then just say OK down here. Now we do actually want to select the talk group, so just click on where it would say worldwide or uh, whatever talk group is currently selected. And then we will go find our talk group. So there we go, find, let's see. Oh, here it is down here at Togo. Group call 615, double click on that. There you go, it is in there. And perfect, there we have it. Now let me double check the color code uh, that we use on these. Uh, so that actually should be in slot two. So, like I said, utilize your reference material if you have it. Uh, if not, just do your research, it's all out there. So for talking to these uh, Brandmeister talk groups on a, on a hotspot, you want to use slot two. And uh, we should be set now. So this is fully set up. Now there's one more step we have to do uh, before we import it to our radio. So go over here to your zones. And just for today, I'm going to create a zone to be able to show you this. Uh, There you go, today's test, and we are going to find the Togo talk group that we just added. Sky Togo, there we go. Perfect. Now we have one talk group in that zone, but you can add it to any zone. You just have to make sure you go ahead and add it to a zone or else you won't see it. Then at this point, we can connect up our radio. So take the radio and uh, plug in your programming cable to it. Make sure the radio is turned on, and then plug in that programming cable to the side of your computer. There we go, it recognized it. Uh, so then just click this little button up here and select the COM port that pops up. Now at this point, we can write to the radio. Now, I've already imported the digital contact list before, uh, so I'm not going to do that again. So just the other data. And there we have it, so let's take a look. So at this point we can go ahead and unplug the radio. And it's booting back up. You can customize the display on these Anytones, I love that feature. So then we're just going to scroll through our talk groups. There we go, today's test, and we can see it. Uh, Sky Togo, so we can go ahead and use that on our hotspot now. Now some hams like to program and set up their own radios, but some want the DMR experience without the hassle of programming. You can skip this time-consuming process and get on the air as soon as you get your radio out of the box with our plug-and-play package. We will program 11 of the most popular talk groups on Brandmeister, including a regional and state talk group specific to you. Simply click the link below and start making contacts right out of the box. What's your favorite DMR talk group? Let us know down below in the comments section. To keep up to date with new things in amateur radio, click the notification bell so you never miss out on another great video. Thanks again for watching. I'm Cody, W3AMG with BridgeCom Systems, 7-3.